our business associations, unfortunately, is not concentrating on business. They are more politically and the Though we condemn the political parties and their culture, but that culture is what is being practiced in our associations. I am not saying one or two, but all of them. So, first of all, I would say the vision why these associations should be there itself is wrong to my mind. The second is the young people getting attracted. One reason I feel uh, Sujib is, again, not being given a free hand to expand or, or, or bring new things in, the family business they are in. So there is a certain frustration. So then they see, wait a minute, let's look at it at least. Here you get a certain recognition, why not go there? Without realizing once they enter, they are caught in the same trap that their fathers and grandfathers have been caught. And then there is certain recognition from government going on a delegation. I, I wonder, I mean, why do these people go on a delegation with Prime Minister? I have never heard of anyone bringing any project after all these visits. One, tell me one that has come. We actually, 1996, go treaty, you know? You were very much involved. But why don't they do it? I mean, it was a very successful theory. It's true. But, but there, you see, there was no politics. And I give full mark to... Uh, Padamji, he was chairman, if you remember. He created this India Treaty, Transit Treaty, under me because for a simple reason, we had business connection with India to the top level. Look at our partners. One was Obro, Hotel Ma, the BAO. You have ITC. And then we had, uh, when, the, uh, when we started on STC, it was Mr. Huxan who was chairman. We learned a lot from you. Now, that was good. The third one was, of course, uh, uh, the, the Tata's uh, distributorship. So it was natural. We had a more connection. And that time, we did not bother about the small fries, let's say. Yes. And we went to the right institution, which was the uh, CII. We went at the right time, because that was where both the government, but the conviction, who convicts? is the business. Our approach was right. Because India had also just opened up. I have always said, you know, we also get credit. Yes, we deserve some credit. But the man who broke the ice is Mr. Adhikari when he became Prime Minister. That man, he went to Calcutta. We went, four, five of us also there. He impressed Rajiv Kaul with his humility. help us. I mean, you say you are our neighbor, you are help us. And he says, why only government? He says, though I am a communist. He says, look at the size of your industry. Come and help. And Rajiv was really taken. And the man was brilliant. I really think Mr. Adhikari was most probably the most brilliant. He had the humility, but he knew his position also. Who he was. When somebody said, your long connection with Bengal, he says, wait a minute. He says, I have come here as a Prime Minister of Nepal to talk with the government of India. My connection with, uh, with the Communist Party of India is a different level. He knew his place, he knew how to do it. It was really, it was he set the ball. And then, of course, you know, the, the CIA, they said, yes, we'll do it. Again, you, know, you, you, you have to do these things. After that, just going and coming is not going to help you. And my point of view is, which Sujib and all supported me, I said, if you have to go and get a partner, get the best, get the biggest. Small prize hierarchy, you cannot do. I mean, they also have a lot of constraints. And I think having brought the big boys, we have learned. At least I have learned from the top. I learned hoteliering, as I told you, from Mr. Obroy. I learned on a corporate culture from Mr. Huxa, a man who is still, till he lived, used to lecture at Harvard. And then we have an excellent relationship with the Tatas. I mean, very similar philosophy, very great uh, cooperative attitude.
I would say there are two reasons why I did it was because I sincerely believed, however successful, however great you may be, you have to bring in new thinking and new leadership. You, you cannot continue the same way. If you continue, then it will falter along the way. Why allow that? If you have built the capacity, and we built the capacity on top of that. I mean, without building the capacity, you just don't say take over and go. If you look at Siddhartha's case, after he came back, he was not just put in. We had one company in trouble and I had given him, this company is in trouble, please go and see that you turn it around in a year, year and then start making profit in a second year. But he and all of you who helped him, you turned it around in six months. And today, where is that company? You see, that time my, my choosing of people was wrong. Because those people could never have even dreamed how big this company could be. It was because of you young people, you knew its future. Even I never thought C. Pradeep would be this big. You see, but then Siddhartha, all of them knew. If properly done, sky is the limit for this company. You have to bring new blood in. You have to bring new thinking in. However good you may be, in the back of your mind, that tradition remains. And you become perhaps too cautious. So after that why, why let a thing which is running well try to bring change? But I have always said that uh, I would leave. That's why we have to groom, we have to have the right people at the right places. And today I think it's eight years so I have left. As you know, my group I think is doing the, and part of it, even he was there at that. We are doing, I would say, 1300 times better. If you really look at business at the end, means how much money you collect. <laughs> Otherwise you will not be in business. I always tease my other friend. I said, if the politician wants to earn money like a businessman, bureaucrats wants to earn as much as the politician, <laughs> I'm in business, I mean, my job is to make money. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I cut it off completely and I never felt that. And I was confident. By the time I left, don't forget, this organization was running on a corporate basis with a very strong team. Uh, as I said, on your party, I have been away. But when I looked at them, I knew those people. But from where, where have they gone? And they are running it. Look at the Bhutikushi itself. I mean, after all, eight young engineers run the whole show. And this is a plus. Now when we are negotiating with the bigger companies on the second one, Siddhartha's strength is that. He says, wait a minute. We are ready, equity, everything. But we will manage ourselves because we have the capacity. We don't need anyone on that front. We need you investment, we need you technology, but we don't need it. And I think he's on the right track. That's why he will not go beyond whether we have the money to do it and whether we have the capacity to do it. When people offer him 100, 200, he says, we are not ready. First, let's produce 100, 200, then we'll think of 400, 500. Otherwise, we are not ready. And also money. I mean, you must, when you do a, a infrastructure, you must have a money on your pocket, otherwise, <laughs> you know one or two have. And they have been successful. It's, it's not only ours. Where they have done this model, they have been very successful. It is only those who are refusing to move on, you have a problem. Even the, as I've said, even all these uh, uh, trade bodies, and my intent, if I was there, I would have said, let my son, nephew, whoever, who have more qualified, let them do the business. And then I think they should get into fighting on the, for the presidentship and vice presidentship and running these, these, these archaic institutions. Mm -hmm.